Hey everyone, by the end of this video, you will know what the difference is between instant triggers and scheduled triggers in Integromat. My name is Dominic Lehnert, let's get right into it. So basically there is two kinds of triggers that you can have. So the first kind of trigger is a so-called instant trigger. So the instant trigger means that the scenario you're using the trigger in gets instantly triggered. So very plain and simple, but we are going to have a look at the instant triggers in a moment in detail because instant trigger doesn't actually mean instant trigger. So you can also delay an instant trigger. And the second time uh, type of trigger is a so-called polling trigger. So this means where the instant trigger gets triggered. So you basically push something into Integromat. So a service, whatever service you're using or you're connecting, let's say MailChimp, an email service, whatever it is, or you're just using a webhook in Integromat, this um, service is basically pushing into Integromat. So it's triggering Integromat basically. And the second time type of trigger we have here, the polling trigger, that basically means that Integromat is checking something else. So an example of for that would be, you can check a social media feed. So you can actually check someone's Twitter account. So Integromat will actually go out and check, has there been a new event in this, uh, in this Twitter account? Or has there been a new file updated in this Google Drive? These kinds of things. So basically Integromat is going out, checking something. And basically if something happened, then it's going to trigger the event. Um, instead of some some other service going in and pushing into Integromat. So that's basically the that's the key difference between the two types of triggers. And then in general, triggers have three properties all triggers have. The first one is there can only ever be one trigger. So each scenario that you build in can only ever have one trigger, period. Second one is the trigger always has to be in the beginning of the scenario. So you can't it, it just also logically doesn't make sense to do something, then you have the trigger and then something else happens. So that simply does not work. Um, the trigger always has to be in the beginning of a scenario. And the last thing is a trigger can always create zero, one or more bundles that then go into the scenario and get processed. The reason why you also ha can have zero is, as we said before, you can have these kinds of triggers that where it basically Integromat goes out, checks something and then comes back and if nothing happens somewhere, that's basically where you have a zero trigger because nothing is going to happen. So let's look at the um, triggers in detail. First one, the polling trigger is you go out, you watch something, and then when something happens there, you basically come back and run the scenario. And the second is our instant trigger, for example, with PayPal. Um, someone sent you a PayPal payment or you made a PayPal payment or someone requested a PayPal payment from you, something like that. And that basically means PayPal is going to um, trigger Integromat in a sense, um, and then your scenar scenario is going to run. So let's look at that in Integromat itself. Up here, we have a polling trigger. So this one is going to watch some files somewhere in our Dropbox, for example. And you can already, already see the yellow bubble up here. And that is telling us that we can only have one trigger in a scenario. And down here, we have a webhook trigger. So this is a instant trigger, meaning something else is triggering our Integromat scenario. And you can see the lightning bolt here. And this basically lets you set when the trigger is going to run. So you can actually, even though it's an immediate trigger or an, an instant trigger, sorry, it's an instant trigger, you can actually set if it's going to run immediately, immediately or in regular intervals every X minutes or once a day, once a week, once a month, stuff like that, or on specific dates every year, something like that. So an instant trigger is not an instant trigger. You can also set certain intervals and the other type of trigger is you basically have your integral math scenario go out, check some events, and then it's going to come back and trigger the scenario. I hope this was helpful. If you have specific questions you wanna have answered in one of these tutorials, just let me know down in the comments. Um, if you want to help me stay caffeinated for these videos, you can buy me a coffee also in the link down below. And if you have specific problems you want to discuss with me 101, or you're thinking about building a Integromat integration in your business, or looking to automate business processes for you, for your specific needs, you can also buy me a coffee that allows me to set aside some time on my calendar, and we can sit down, have a chat, and discuss your specific needs. My name is Dominic Lehnert. Take care and goodbye.